She's gone. Ten years ago, I used to meet her at my sister's. She was 17 then, and I was 37. Why didn't I fall in love with her then and propose to her? It would have been so easy. And now she would be and my wife. And now she would be my wife. Yeah. And now the storm the would have waked us both up. The storm would have waked her. She would have been afraid. I'd say, don't be scared. I'm here. One of the first things I understood about being a writer in the schools was that you didn't get any status by being a writer. You had to make something happen for kids. You know, I mean, Norman Mailer or John Updike could come into a classroom full of third graders, you know, and they would not be impressed, you know. They would have to do something. In June 1979, a dozen 10 to 12-year-olds put on a full-length version of Anton Chekhov's Uncle Vanya, which was a gate to the larger world. What fascinated me all along about the Uncle Vanya project was that it continually butted against larger philosophical questions. What is the nature of childhood? Are children radically different from adults? Or subtly different? Where does one draw the line between experimentation and self-indulgence? is a lot weirder and darker and more fucked up than adults give it credit for.